my dear children welcome to your biology class so last classes we were discussing about the reproduction we discussed the reproduction and development in humans frogs and hen in today's class we are going to discuss about the asexual reproduction so we have learned about the asexual reproduction in our first class when we learned about the mode of reproduction we learned there are two modes of reproduction first one is sexual mode of reproduction and second one is asexual mode of reproduction now dear children what is asexual reproduction yes that is the production of new organisms without the fusion of gametes isn't it or by a single parent isn't it so here the gamete fusion is not happening that is the male and female gametes are not formed or the young ones are developed from a single parent and such mode of reproduction is what we call asexual mode of reproduction and we learned in asexual reproduction one character teacher have mentioned in the first class what is it do anyone remember yes that is the young ones will be looking exact copy of the single parent isn't it so as the young ones are formed from a single parent the young ones will be looking exact the same of the single parent isn't it so that is what asexual reproduction is so today we are going to learn about two modes of asexual reproduction so the first method we are going to learn is binary fission binary fission binary fission so what happens in binary fission is the parent cell or the parent organisms divide into two different organs two young organisms so that is what binary but that is what happens in the binary fission that is a parent organism will divide into two so likewise two new individuals are formed so that is how binary fission is happening now which are now the examples for the organisms which shows binary fission is amoeba we are very familiar with the micro organism amoeba isn't it so amoeba is an example for organism which shows binary fission and second organ uh, second organism is paramecium now euglena 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 now what is the speciality of all three organisms we have amoeba paramecium and euglena what is their speciality we have learned this names do when we learned about the unicellular organism isn't it so these organisms are microscopic unicellular in nature isn't it so this organisms will have a single cell isn't it so this organism shows binary fission now let's see how the binary fission happens so teacher have drawn the binary fission on board that is when the amoeba matures so here a mature amoeba is drawn when the amoeba mature now what is the speciality of amoeba what is the shape of amoeba yes amoeba is shapeless you know that isn't it and it is a unicellular organism so when the when the amoeba matures the nucleus will increase in size so the nucleus in mature amoeba increase in size here you can see the nucleus have increased in size now what happens is the cytoplasm also have some cleaves so see here you can see few cleaves that is due to the division that is the first stage of division of amoeba by binary fission the nucleus will get elongated and the cytoplasm will get cleaved so likewise after few time you can see two daughter cells with two daughter nuclei that is two young cells are formed two young amoeba cells are formed from a single cell so this type of division is called binary fission that is a single mature cell is getting divided into two daughter nuclei so this type of new, uh, this type of division is what we call binary fission by means to fission means division so two daughter cells are formed as from a single cell 
Now the second mode of asexual reproduction we are going to learn is budding. Budding. So the second mode of asexual reproduction is budding. So let's see how the buds are formed. So in budding, a small outgrowth will be formed from the mature organism. So mature organism's body part. So small outgrowth will be formed from the body part of the mature organisms. And later this bud develop and form a new organism. So that's how the budding is happening. Now example of organism showing budding is Hydra. So we have learned about Hydra in lower classes. Hydra. This is a Hydra. Now what happens is a small outgrowth will be formed. A small bud will be formed on the body of the Hydra. Later this bud develop and get detached from the parent plant. And it will get detached. See, the small bud will be forming. Later, it will be getting detached. So, likewise, a young hydra will be formed. So, this is how the budding happens. That is, a small outgrowth of bud will be formed in the, mature, in the body of the mature plant. Later, the bud get detached and a younger one will be released. Budding is also shown by uh, several sponges and aquatic plants. That is marine plants. Marine sponges and marine, um, marine plants shows the budding as a sexual reproduction. So in your textbook, the picture of binary fission and budding is given in very detail. So kindly go through the so kindly go through the portion in page number 102. So by this we are concluding today's class. Next class we will start. Next class we will learn the textual activities. See you in next class. Thank you. Asexual reproduction. There are several methods of asexual reproduction in animals like binary fission, budding, fragmentation and degeneration. Let us study binary fission and budding in detail. Binary fission. It is the simplest method of asexual reproduction that occurs in unicellular organisms like amoeba, paramecium, and eugena. In binary fission, the parent organism splits or divides to form two new organisms of the same kind. In binary fission of a fully grown amoeba, the nucleus lengthens and divides into two parts, karyokinesis. After that, the cytoplasm of amoeba divides into two parts around each nucleus, cytokinesis. In this way, a single parent amoeba divides to form two daughter amoebae. The two daughter amoebae, produced by binary fission, grow to their full size and divide again. Budding. Budding is an asexual method of reproduction. In budding, a small part of the body of the parent organism grows out as a bud which then detaches and becomes a new organism. Budding occurs in organisms like hydra, sea, animal, sponges and corals. In hydra, first, a small outgrowth called bud grows on the side of its body. This bud then gradually grows to form a small hydra by developing mouth and tentacles. The daughter hydra detaches itself from the body of the parent hydra. This daughter hydra then grows into an adult organism. In corals and sponges, buds do not separate out but remain attached to the parent organism. While attaching to the parent body, they attain full size and reproduce again to form a colony. 